Hi everyone this is the part 3 of the topic types of wood and the last type of wood that we are going to see is hardwood and softwood The formation of wood occurs during secondary growth and is mainly a feature of gymnosperms and dicot angiosperms As already mentioned in the previous parts that the wood is secondary xylem tissue of the plant The xylem is a complex tissue which is made up of four different kinds of elements that are the two conducting elements tracheids and vessels responsible for transport of sap from one part of the plant to other xylem parenchyma for storage of food and other substances and xylem fibers to provide structural support but not all plants have all of these four types of elements the wood formed during secondary growth in gymnosperms is quite different from the wood formed in dicot angiosperms the gymnospermic wood has only two types of xylem elements that is tracheids and xylem parenchyma they lack vessels as well as xylem fibers due to this reason gymnospermic wood contains relatively more living cells which makes the wood softer and hence it is called soft wood it is also known as non porous wood due to the absence of vessels and as only one type of conducting element tracheid is present the term homozygous wood is also used to describe the same but in angiosperms the wood contain all four types of elements that is tracheids vessels xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers the presence of xylem fibers make this wood relatively hard as compared to gymnospermic soft wood hence it is called hard wood it is also known as porous wood due to the presence of vessels and as two type of sap conducting elements tracheids and vessels are present the term heterozygous wood is also often used so that is all for this topic i hope you found this series of videos useful for your preparation and if you did let me know in the comment section below